I got this question about oscillator circuits, LC circuit, tank circuit, and he's wanting to know why the magnetic field doesn't remain steady with maximum current flow. Well, let's take a closer look at this circuit and some of the component parts of this circuit because they all act together to make an oscillator oscillate. In this circuit, we're using the vacuum tube, but all three of these devices, the vacuum tube, the transistor, and the MOSFET, are variable resistors. And to vary the resistance of each one of those, you change the bias on the control grid for the vacuum tube, the base for the transistor, and the gate for the MOSFET. Here's the circuit, and when we start, we have a negative voltage or bias on the control grid, which goes through R1, and we're going to have a positive pulse coming from the secondary of the oscillator coil. And as the tube warms up and starts to conduct, we get a magnetic field that cuts across the secondary, producing a positive pulse. And this causes the tube to become less resistive, so it conducts more. And this increases the magnetic field, which produces a bigger pulse, positive pulse, which makes the tube less resistive and it conducts more again until we reach the maximum. And this is where the question comes in. Why doesn't it stay there? Here's the setup. All it is is three volts in series with a variable resistor on a primary of a transformer and I've got the oscilloscope on the secondary and the 4k ohm resistor that is just to close the circuit and we're going to take a look and see what happens when I vary the resistance which is taking the place of the vacuum tube transistor or MOSFET Okay, I'm going to turn the variable resistor up and we get a positive pulse and when I turn it back down we get a negative pulse. I'm going to do that again but I'm going to keep it uh, turned up all the way this time here we go. We got that positive pulse. It's still turned up all the way, but notice that it went back to zero. This is why the oscillator oscillates and why it doesn't get stuck at the top because of the transformer action. You have to have a moving magnetic field to have a voltage in the secondary. And we had a moving magnetic field when I turned it up, but now it has stopped moving. Okay, now I'm going to turn it in the other direction. Notice we got a negative pulse. And it went up to zero, which is it now going in the positive direction. Okay, that's at the other end of the sine wave. When it goes down to the bottom, the magnetic field in the secondary stops moving. We get a positive direction back up to zero, and that starts the oscillator going in the other direction. Let's do this again. Okay, I'm going to turn it up. We get our positive pulse. We have a magnetic field but it's not moving. So the trace went to zero. 
went in the negative direction. That starts the oscillator in the negative direction. <coughs> the negative direction. Okay, now I'm going to turn the resistor back down. We get our negative pulse, and again, the magnetic field has stopped moving in the secondary, so the electrons, or the voltage has dissipated and it's gone to zero, which is now going in the positive direction. Again, that starts the oscillator back in the other direction, and it seesaws back and forth. Thanks for watching.